What else to talk about? What's his name? Charlie Hammer. Gotta remember that. Yeah, yeah, you die. You like that. Oh, yeah, shoot you in the head. the job interview. And you are? Smith. Okay. Could you just fill out the job application and when Mr. Hammer's ready, I'll let you know. Okay, thank you. Hi, welcome to Hammer Corporation. Are you here for the job interview? Are you Mr. Kennedy? You do realize you're three hours late, right? Right. Well, why don't you just fill this out, and when Mr. Hammer gets back from his cruise to the Bahamas, I'll let you know. Mr. Hammer will see you now. You just put your job application right here, and go through there. Thank you. Hello? Yeah, I'm at a... Um, sir? Some interview. Mr. Hammer will My see you now. My mom's making me get a job. I don't know, it's crazy ridiculous. I'll talk to you later, though. Hello, I'm Mr. Smith. Ah, you must be here for the job interview. Yes. Excellent. Well, what makes you want to work at Hammer Corporation? Well, Hammer Corporation is a leader in science and computer technology and development. And personally, I've always wanted to work in this company since I was very young. What are some of your strengths in business that you think qualify you to work for such a prestigious company? Well, probably I'd say my winning personality and my positive attitude and less than preferable situations. And the inverse, what are some of your weaknesses? Uh, bullets. Yeah. Yeah, no, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Hello? Yeah, that's looking cool. Sir? Oh, oh dude, hang on a sec. This guy's trying to talk to me. Just give me a minute. I'm on the phone. Important phone call. Sir, you're in my office. Turn off that cellular device. Yep, yep. No, I'll be there later. No. Get off this phone or I'll have you removed from the premises. All right, I, I guess I gotta go. This guy's, this guy's being a real jerk. Who the hell are you? Are you this Mr. Kennedy? Yes, I am. Why the hell are you here? To get a job. What makes you think you're even remotely qualified to work for this fine corporation? Well, my mom saw your ad and she, she thought I fit in pretty good. Your mother? My mother? I see. So what do you think makes you qualified to work here? What are your strengths, I suppose? Oh, uh, you know, I really, really like just just uh, have a good time, you know, party it up a lot, bring some positive energy to this place. Are you inferring we have a negative work environment here, sir? Well, look at your shirt. Collar's not popped. It's not cool. I'm beginning to hate you, Mr. Kennedy. Not my problem. Now, let, let's begin with the laundry list of what will be your weaknesses. I don't think there are any. Really? So, Mr. Smith, if I were to ask you 
bit of, a, bit of an oddball question, but I, I try to make a point of asking this of every new employee. What are the contents of your refrigerator? Of my refrigerator? Yes. Um, luckily, that fax came through earlier. Uh, You have a large refrigerator, Mr. Smith. Thank you. Very good. Now, what if I told you, hypothetically, you had six months to live? What would be some of the things you'd do? How would you spend your time? Uh, right off the bat, I think I would probably spend some time with my family and try to fulfill my lifelong goal of climbing Mount Fuji backwards. Very good, very noble of you. And just another sort of oddball question. Uh, if there was a front page newspaper article about you, what do you think it would say? Uh, probably, man saves giant box of puppies from fire started by terrorists. Excellent, I, I'd like to think mine would read about the same. Very good, Mr. Smith. All right, Mr. Kennedy. Now, I'm going to throw a couple of hypothetical questions your way. I try to throw them every new hire's way. If I were to look in your refrigerator, what, what might I expect to find? I find a lot of these. You do know this is a job interview. And? Please remove your shoes from my desk. Why not bother anybody? They're bothering me, sir. I don't see how. Moving on, let's say by the graces of God, you only have six months to live. How are you going to spend your last pathetic days on this planet? Yeah, you know, probably hard enough uh, probably end up killing myself in the out column the 60 days are up. It's, never mind. Now, let's say, you appear on the front page of a newspaper. What do you think the article's going to say? Man found dead in a public fountain. Drank himself to death. I don't know about you, Mr. Kennedy. I just don't understand. I don't understand you. Mr. Smith. Now, before we wrap this interview, do you have any questions of me as a potential employer? Um, if you had to describe the company in one sentence, how would you do so? Well, Amber Corporation is an ambiguous company striving to provide only the highest quality of security technology. Anything else? Uh, where do you see a company in five years? Well, hopefully still here. I hope the building doesn't disappear on me. Again. Now, Mr. Kennedy, before we wrap up this sad excuse for an interview, do you have any questions you'd like to ask me as a potential employer? Yeah, how much money are we making? Well, that would be based on your performance, which based on your interview, I'd say significantly less than minimum wage. How much is that in the blues? We are not Pirates, Mr. Kennedy. Well, I got one more question. What would that be? Is it okay if I take a nap? You're unbelievable. How did this man get an interview? Well, Mr. Smith, that was a very promising interview. I'll be sure to let you know in a couple of days as to the results. Thank you for your time. Hey, Doc. Well, Mr. Kennedy, I suppose it's time we conclude this tragedy of an interview. And quite frankly, I never want to see you again. Does that mean I got the job? No! Goodbye. Have a nice day. You too.
Yeah, Ma, I think I definitely got the job, yeah. Alright. Mr. Sandberg, thanks for coming to your performance review. No problem. So you're in charge around here, is that fair to say? Absolutely. I'm the boss. Okay, so take us through a day in the life of the boss. Well, the first thing I do is... Talk to corporate! Approve memos! Lead a workshop! Remember birthdays! Direct work... That's <laughs> winning me over, Mr. Smith. Get the cow! <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to conclude this interview with a hug. <laughs> Get the hell up! Mr. Smith, stop messing up walking down the hallway. Well, if we're gonna, if you're gonna hire me, I might have to deal with you. You're fired! I have to deal with you yelling at me. I can't take it anymore. I quit! You're fired! Hey, Ted, pick that up. <laughs> I really hurt when I saw the best. And you are? Now, let, let's begin with the laundry list of what will be your weaknesses. I don't think there are any. Really? <laughs> yeah, and I love you. I'll definitely party it up. Probably drink myself to death before the 60 days are up. A month is 31 days. Six months are significantly more than 60 days. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>